home from the animal hospital for now. I'm going to try and get him some help, okay? Shana's dog, Bo, struck in the head by a bullet. Another neighbor who didn't want to appear on camera said he shot the backyard neighbor's pit bull in self-defense. It started when that man let his cat into his backyard. At some point, two pit bulls showed up. The cat's owner says the two pit bulls scared the cat up a tree. The man at that point says he went over to see what he could do and then was surrounded by the two pit bulls, that they were snarling at him, they, they were baring their teeth, that he felt in fear for his life. So he fired once. Bo was wounded. The other dog ran off. Here on Ruth Drive in Ravenswood, it is not the first time that same man has shot a dog running loose on his property. It happened a few months ago. The man told us he was almost bitten before, his cat was bitten by a stray, and two neighbors have been bitten or almost bitten by loose dogs. I feel that it's a false statement to justify shooting an animal. Bo's owner's cousin helped set up a GoFundMe to get costly medical care for the dog. <sighs> Cold chill down my spine on that one. His injuries, he's got a shot to the eye, and it's not very good. It's not looking very good. Bo has been to the vet, but the family can't afford the minimum $1,000 medical bill. That description of Bo threatening anyone's life, he says. He's a calm demeanor dog. He loves kids, as you can see. He loves other people. No, no, my dog does not, he does not fight, he does not harm anyone. I love animals, and I just can't imagine that if the person felt threatened. I don't know, there's other options. As neighbor Susan ran her dogs Wednesday. People need to keep their dogs on their property, too, so it's, it's a two-way street. The man who fired the shot said he was interviewed by police, but got no indication that he was going to be charged with anything. Police still investigating. We're waiting to hear back from them. David McAnally, Channel 13 Eyewitness News.